Welcome to Journey Beyond the Abyss. Today we'll be going over the tips and tricks to this mod pack. This will help you get started on your adventure. Journey Beyond the Abyss, a semi-hardcore story-based mod pack focused on immersion. Your journey begins when you find yourself on top of a sandbar in the middle of the ocean, next to the seemingly spotted trench in a straight oil rig-like structure. As you reveal more of the story, you soon discover that the abyss holds a dark secret. As you progress you through the lone islands, thousands of blocks away from spawn, dungeons filled with mobs and loot. Abandoned underwater cities and maybe a ghost ship left over from some lost civilization. You start off in a little little boat. You get some water, food, apples, you know. The storyline is I've been adrift for a year now, currently running out of supplies. If I don't find a lantern, I'll probably much longer. Those crates, if you eat here, you must have a pickaxe to open this lucky block. I will not drop anything if it's broken with the hand. Some items inside these kind of blocks are... You don't know what they are yet, technically. Because some of these items you have to research. Anyways... If you go up here, these little crates here, they're all over the place. They give you free items to start off with. They even give you a quest book. Here, you can exchange... Well, selling your coins, I guess. That's the best way to explain it. There's another crate here. And another one up there. Oh, wait, oh, this side. Yep, over there. You can use the vines to climb because we have the parkour. So, climb. If you hold shift on ledge, you will slowly fall down. And if you hold, if you release it up, wait, uh, so if you release it, you will kind of jump up, so it's a better way to climb, I guess. Anyways, to get started, you need to get plant fibers. Where can you find that? You can find that in seaweed here, or you can find it. On vines, we fully recommend try getting vines until you can live on an island. Definitely. Well, yeah, it gives a small chance. But still, it's plant fiber. Plant fiber, you need a drying rack. You will most likely start off with one. You will always start off with trees. You can also get plant, uh, tree seeds from the seaweed too, so that's quite useful. And then you just put it on in Wazam. Any day now. Yeah, it's it's really slow. <laughs> You'll most likely want like uh, 20 of these <laughs> in the beginning. Basically, in this mod pack, you want to mass produce anything you have on hand. Yeah, this is really slow. Anyways, you will most likely want to get the drying rack. This is so much faster. As you see, that took like 30 minutes. Oh yeah, it's Stone Age, so you can't access that until you go proceed through the ages. What's an age, you say? Well, this is where you first start off. You go through here, it has everything you need. So after completing all of these quests, you can go to Chapter 2. Ch every chapter has its own stage. There's Stone, Copper, Iron, and so on. After you beat the first stage, so when you complete all this, mobs will finally start spawning. There will only be skeletons and zombies. Creepers and other mobs will spawn later in the game. By the way, there's endermen that one-shot you even if you have really good armor, so I recommend not trying to fight them yet. You can also use these crates to for storage, so you can like break them and wazam, and I have a storage system already. I fully recommend this. All right, well, inventory crafting. So with inventory crafting, so for instance, if I grab like, so we're gonna get a bunch of twine and a bunch of sticks. You can get twine through drying. <laughs> Well, through the dried plant fibers. With inventory crafting, you can do anything. Plant fibers. Boom. Bam. 
Of course it wouldn't be this easy because, well, getting game mode 1 on this game is really hard. So, you first grab these, grab one of them, you hold shift, and as you see, something pops up. If you click, you craft the item. So you just spam it. This is how you're going to craft for most of the game. And then with the compressed sticks, you can make kindling, kindlings, with kindlings, with more twine makes tinder. Tinder is very expensive, as you would imagine. And you really need it, because you can make a campfire. Now, what you, the best tree to get the early game is the jungle sapling. This can all be found in the mall seaweed. So, with bone meal, well, I'm just gonna do this to speed it up. This is the biggest tree and the easiest to harvest. Mobs do not spawn on immersive trees, so don't worry about that. As you see, it is a quite a big tree. After getting logs, which they all call the logs, anyways, <laughs> grab a bunch of those, you right click to put them. It could fit about, you know, eight. And then first, you need to learn how to make flint and tinder. Flint and tinder is made like two tinder, a flint, and a rock. How do you get flint? While in the ocean, of course. There is plenty of gravel all over the place. <clears throat> These can also drop rocks, so yeah, pretty useful. You can, this is also has the Subnautica mod, so you have oxygen, you can swim quite fast, all that jazz. You can also freeze to death, so staying in the water is not smart. If you're wondering what that sound was, oh wait, you probably can't hear it, but there's something called the Gru. If it's too dark in your area, he comes for you, so don't. But Shazam and... It takes a while, don't worry about it. And then you make a fire. It cannot burn anything around it, so don't worry about fire turning on fire, you know? Well, wood turning on fire. It will damage you if you step on it. After a while, it starts building up ash, so the fire cannot be infinitely used, but you still want to fuel it much as possible to keep it alive much as possible, just so you can heat up slowly. If you have to be kinda close for it to heat up, so be careful. On living standards. So, to drink water, you click shift, and then right click the water. You will get thirst because this is seawater, it is not a filter. We also have the disease mod, which I should probably show you. It is very important. So if something you have not learned yet, for instance, it says you don't know the stage yet. If you hold the item in your hand, it will be instantly dropped by you. You can keep these in chests or in your inventory even if you don't learn them, so just don't put them on your hand. See, as you see, I dropped that instantly. What I'm trying to do here is get a disease by mining with my hand. If you mine dirt with your hand, you can get a disease. Yep, and I got it. This is called the dirt disease. There are many types. This one is, if you're not on dirt or in the air, you get, well, you get slowness. If you are on dirt and dirt, you get speed and haste. So some diseases actually help you. I don't know why, but that's how it is. <laughs> it's a bit weird, I know. You can also get immunity through the shop, which is very, very expensive. <laughs> 10,000, Jesus. From quests, you can get items, so it's quite useful. And this is also how you get currency. So if you die, you will lose all of your money. Well, until you complete one more quest. So let me show you what I mean. So we're gonna go fly in the air. See, we have five coins right now. We're gonna drop from, you know, death height, I guess you could say. Zero. Yeah. Yep, and we're dead. If you click shop, boom! We have zero cash. But if we get five coins, it goes to ten. So it's a bug with the mod pack specifically, 
but yeah, that's what's gonna happen, so learn your mistakes. We also have the navigation thing, whatever. I forgot what it's called, these little waypoints. I fully recommend making one here because there's a lot of exploration on this mod pack. This at the start, you should have a lot of drying racks right away, quick as possible. But reminder, do not complete all these quests. Always leave one open, do not complete it. Because mobs will start spawning and that just causes more problems. So we fully, fully recommend that you get a house on an island as soon as possible. Or you make a huge place. Not my choice. Anyways, we have a weight mod, if you can't see right there on the bottom right. Three point right now I weigh three point fifteen kilograms. Everything weights 50 milligrams unless it's a certain block that we decided to change. So oak wood is one kilogram. Cobble, one kilogram. Yeah, if you try twine on here, the twine will slowly turn into a stick. So that's another way to make sticks if you're too poor for some reason for that. If you look at all the quest lines, you can see that it has a description of what you should do. So you should be helpful. Also, use the pin button sometimes, it's quite useful. So as you see, you most likely want to get some basic tools down, an axe, hammer, tools, they get destroyed very easily. I shall give an example. So I believe the axe counts for every single block on this tree, so let's see if it gets destroyed instantly. Although I fully recommend binding this with your hand, because it's not really useful. As you see, it destroys quite a lot, to be honest. But, not much as I expected. As you see, that's why jungle tree is the most, the best. You have a bunch, almost a stack and up more. Once you are starting to expand, you definitely want to increase your, well, place. So definitely start having like, also that's what happens if you get overweight, your screen kind of gets shoved. You definitely want to try expanding your place, it could kind of look like this, I don't know what you want. But, if you want to start your tree farm even better, you can start doing this. So just boom, bam, bop, boom. They'll slowly start growing into trees, you can expand it how much ever you want, I recommend having like, at least like a bunch of them growing and have a lifetime supply of wood so you don't have to deal with wood ever again and we fully recommend making a house on an island it doesn't have to be the main island it doesn't have to be anything there are many types of islands around the world so just explore the next step on your adventure is to make a hammer to make a hammer you have to have tinder again really expensive rock, rock, and a compressed stick. Now, what you're gonna need the hammer for, it is called the work table. This is the bait, <laughs> your first starter workbench. It costs an axe. I believe the axe gets eaten or it just uses its durability. I believe it does have to be full durability, so do keep in mind. Ash, ash, you get from the campfire by destroying it. Though, and planks, planks, you can easily, wait, what the hell? Planks, I believe it's just a uh, axe and, yeah, you need a chopping block, I believe, yeah, a chopping block. It's easy, just an axe and a block, and then you put it on there. Let's give an example. So, chopping block, boom, bam, eat. Oak, wood, then you grab an axe and you right click. As you see there is some dust around. This is not infinite durability so it will slowly start shredding and breaking so yeah everything here kind of just slowly breaks even with the work table but the work table is really durable. So after making the work table you definitely <laughs> Want to start getting crafting 100%. You can start getting really complicated recipes. For instance, a raft, the most important thing. Alright, now, once you make the raft, it just takes two, this, and tender. It's really easy. So, to make it, you have to put the oak, 
logs on it. Don't know why I'm putting that many for myself. Uh, let's remove all these items really quick. Grab some tinder. Of course, I'm just doing this like, well, I'm just doing this because, you know, I'm not going to go through the whole entire process. I'm trying to hurry this up. Anyways, hammer. And you right click. Right click is basically your normal interaction button. As you see, the game starts lagging, and then look at that. We unlock stage stone. As you see, there is a gives Austin decided to be like, there's an island due west to the platform. I shall show you what's west. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention. There are a lot of random boats around the place. <clears throat> be careful though, because it's kinda dark in there. And there's quite a lot of mobs. Yeah. Then you, there. As you see, these crates are a bit better. They're kind of fancy. They got some like gears, I believe. I, don't, I can't touch them up. But yeah, after breaking these with pickaxe, you can get some special items. Mobs have diseases, by the way. It's like, and some cures actually. So basically. If you get bitten by a zombie, you can get rabies. If, you, if some of them are pregnant, and if you kill them, they will spawn duplicates of themselves. And anyway, this is the island. There are cows here. I recommend not fighting that. But you can go through the village and everything. There's not much things useful here, but one thing you definitely want to do is go in here. Kind of go in here. Uh, steal the bed because you can actually sleep here and set your spawn point so you can start off really easily <clears throat> anyways you see this huge farm use it please we recommend it fully the the mob people don't get mad at you because this is a custom place wheat you wondering what you can do with wheat there's so much drying you make straw straw is very important as you see it would be really expensive to make that you can't turn that into that sally so it's kind of sad but with the straw bale we'll get into that later that is very important anyways everyone i hope you enjoyed the video be sure to like and subscribe if you like the video if you have any questions be sure to join the discord in the description